sorting out his bed and having a bit of a clear out. Give you a little bit of a tour. We wanted to have as many shelves as possible. So tonight I'm making the most tasty chicken pie. Big day tomorrow. I've never ever done a meet up. I'm a little bit nervous. <laughs> no. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and to a get it all done video. Today I have so much that I want to do around the house, but I started out with my workout. It was leg day, it was horrible. And then took Kiki for a walk because she needs it every single morning. And I thought, while I'm still in my stinky gym clothes, I might as well then also take her. And we're really lucky in Essex. We have like some lovely woods to go to. Um, and then I made my way back home and I will show you what we got up to. So I'm now in Jackson's room because the main task that I wanna get done today is sorting out his bed and having a bit of a clear out. Some of you will remember when we moved into this house nearly four years ago, we actually did up his room first because we really wanted the boys to have a nice clean space while we were renovating every other room in the house. So we did it up, we put a triple bunk bed in here so they would all have somewhere to sleep while there was so much dust and renovation going on throughout the rest of the house and it's definitely served its purpose it's been amazing but then as Jackson was getting bigger he wasn't enjoying the bunk bed as much so we've actually sold the bunk bed and we've now got a double bed to put in here and it will actually be really nice as well because when we have guests come and stay like Matt's dad lives in Spain my mum lives in Canada they also won't have to sleep in a bunk bed <laughs> as like one of the options. Yeah, so I'm super excited to show Jackson the end result. We've actually just cleared out his room because it was so messy and Matt is now gonna build the bed and I'm gonna set up the mattress and everything. The mattress is from Emma Sleep. We love their mattresses so much. Um, we've got them on all of the beds and I wanted to let you know I have such an incredible discount code for you guys. They actually do amazing sales on the Emma Sleep website so you can get up to 40% off of their mattresses they also have discounts on like their mattress toppers which are so comfortable Caleb loves his they've also got mattress protectors like so many like pillows etc they've got an amazing sale on anyway but they've said that my followers can have a further 5% off of their sale prices so if you use my code Emily Norris which is nice and easy to remember you'll get an extra 5% on top of the already incredible sale so I'll put that link in the description down below if you guys want to check it out if you're looking for a mattress or you're updating your current mattress I highly recommend them they're like the perfect firmness but I'm actually gonna unpack them very soon so I will show you what they're like let's go Okay, so before we set up the bed and the mattress, we really needed to clean this space. It had become so messy. We're actually also repainting Fraser's bedroom and we cleared out underneath his bed and there were so many toys and things he's grown out of, so they ended up in here. So it was a big mess and I'm almost embarrassed to show you guys this, but it's just real life. Sometimes people think my house is really clean, but I assure you, it is not. It's messy, just like everyone else's. Um, I also took this opportunity to vacuum while there was no bed in here. We put the rug back down. We think it will actually look really nice under the bed. And then Matt went ahead and built it. So we decided to go for a gas lift bed because we just love the extra storage that they give you. It's perfect for toys, seasonal clothes, backpacks, luggage, things like that. It's just brilliant. And then we brought the mattress upstairs. And something I love about Emma Sleep mattresses are they come so tightly vacuum packed so the box is actually really small so easy to get through doorways and up the stairs as well and it comes with a really handy QR code on the side that you can just scan and it will take you to the instructions on how to set it all up and even better than that there's a video that you can watch which is perfect for me because I hate reading instructions so it made it really really easy but you pretty much just take it out of the box unwrap it and it will start to fill with air and it gets really really plump Something else that's really cool is Emma Sleep offer a 10-year warranty on their mattresses. 
classes and a 200 night risk free sleep trial. So it really gives you the chance to test out their mattress. And if you're not completely happy after 200 nights, you can return it. But I think you will be happy because they are so comfortable. They are breathable, really supportive. They regulate temperature and they adapt to the shape of your body. And what also is really good is it has like motion isolation. So if I'm sleeping next to Matt, but he's having a bad night moving around, it doesn't mean that my side of the bed is gonna move around as well. For Jackson, I also got a topper. We got one for Caleb's bed and oh my goodness, it is just another level of comfort. So in an effort to keep Jackson in his bed, we thought we would also get one for him. Look how comfy it looks. And then I also got the mattress protector. Their mattress protectors are amazing. Literally nothing gets through. No accidents in the night, no spills, no fake tan from me. Your mattresses will be nice and clean and they're so easy to just pop into the wash as well. Um, so anyway, don't forget the Easter sale with Emma Sleep is now on until the 1st of April, you can get up to 40% off and then you can get an extra 5% with my code Emily Norris. And that code is available in the UK, in Ireland, and in the US as well. So now I'm just going to dress the bed and that is how it's all looking. Matt also put the bedside table next to it and we put a shelf on either side for some books and some prints. And I just love the way this looks. It feels like a very grown up bed for Jackson, but there's still loads of room um, in here to play as well. So I will report back to you guys how he gets on with sleeping in his own bed. Um, but now I'm actually going to go downstairs and sort out our boot room area. You may have seen, or it's really like a boot wall area. <laughs> we kind of used this wall to create this storage, but I still need to put some things away in it. Um, so I have this hanging storage here with all of the hats and scarves and gloves and all of that so I'm actually now going to organize it and put it into the drawers where it should be because basically there's five drawers there's five people in this house so the idea is everyone gets a drawer and it's going to mainly be for hats scarves gloves I guess in the summer it might be for flip-flops, um, you know, sun hats and things like that. I'm just going to organize all of this and put it into the right place. And then I'm also going to put some shoes away in here. And then maybe I'll give you a little bit of a tour of how we're actually going to use the storage. Okay, so I've just sorted out the cupboard. So I thought I would quickly give you a little bit of a tour of the storage. Um, normally when the kids are at home, they're actually at school at the moment, there's like more coats in this area. I'm actually looking forward to spring when there are less coats here, but we do also have a little closet in the other hallway, which I'll show you in a sec. Um, but in this end panel down here, I don't know if you can see that, but this is where all of the shoes are kept. When we worked with our carpenter to build this cupboard, we said we wanted to have as many shelves as possible. So we kind of measured the shoes and we've added in lots of shelves because obviously there's so many shoes being a family of five. So there's different sized shelves, bigger ones for boots and for Matt's trainers and stuff like that. And then thinner ones for like the kids shoes and sliders, Crocs, all of that. It can actually hold so many more shoes. We're slowly like adding all of them in here. I reckon it could actually hold all of our shoes. Um, but for now it's been brilliant. The boys are definitely getting in the habit of taking their shoes off at the front door, carrying them into here. So that is happening. Then we've got the little um, drawers down here. So this one is like Matt slash me and Matt 
And then this one is like all my hats and gloves and scarves and stuff. This one is Caleb's. This one is Jackson's. And this one is Fraser's. We were gonna do it in order of age, but Fraser actually has so many folders and books for school. So now that he's in senior school, we've put each subject into a folder like this and we've labeled it. So I don't know if you can see that. But this one says history on it. The one underneath is biology. So we keep each subject as a folder. And then every night before school, he'll look at his timetable, choose the folders that he needs the next day. And then all of the bags are in this area, which is very empty at the moment. Normally it's packed full because Fraser has two huge bags for senior school. So they're normally here. He's got a PE bag and a normal bag and then Jackson's bag goes there, and then Caleb's bag goes there. That's their PE bags, they don't have PE today. But normally this is kind of like full up and I can put my handbags in here as well. So it's just such an amazing space. I'm so glad, like we've never had storage like this. And so far, it's been amazing. Yeah, and that's how it looks with everything all closed. And then I'll show you, we've got a little bit more storage out here. And in our hallway, as you walk in, we have some more hanging storage in here. We're actually getting a new door for this very soon because um, we're doing up the hallway. But Matt's just put in a light that comes on when you open it, which is so great. So we've got some hanging just here for big coats, but we're actually going to put a bar across so that we can hang even more. And then uh, like that's just like a handy space to have. Also like for really muddy coats, we can just hide them in there. And then we've also got more storage under here, which I need to sort out next. Um, one day I would totally love for this area to be a dog bed, like a dog area, maybe with like some water and some food, but there's so many electricals in here. Everyone I've spoken to about it isn't sure that it would work but I love those little beds like under the stairs so we will see um, but I might just clear this out because I still haven't kind of put all this into the storage so I will do that now to make me feel right, I can So I've just done the school run and now the boys are home. Caleb's actually at a street dance lesson, but the other two are back home. So now I'm trying to get on with dinner and tonight I'm making the most tasty chicken pie. This is a Jamie Oliver recipe and I love it. The best thing about it is that it takes 30 minutes to make, but I'm also gonna do roast potatoes so they'll take longer. But you pretty much need chicken, spring onion, mushrooms, uh, puff pastry for the top, thyme, nutmeg, a little bit of mustard. Um, but it's really simple and it's really delicious. So I will link it in the description if you guys wanna try it. It's a really nice one. And then I'm gonna make some roast potatoes and I've got green beans as well. So I'm just gonna make that now. Okay, so starting out with the roast potatoes, the boys like these. Um, so all I'm gonna do is peel a ton of potatoes cut them up into roast potato size and then I'm going to parboil them for about 10 minutes and then once they've been boiled I'm going to strain them and then put them back into the pot and rough them up a little bit to make them like rough around the edges and like crispy. Um, then I'm going to pop them into the oven with vegetable oil and then I'm going to get on with the pie. So sorry I always use scissors when I'm cutting up chicken. I just find it so much easier. So for this I'm using four chicken breasts and I'm gonna fry that off. You could probably add more, but that suits our family of five. 
Then I'm going to add in a ton of mushrooms, but I'm going to chop them up first. And then I'm also going to chop up all of those spring onions as well and make some chicken stock while I'm frying off the chicken. Then I'm going to add in the mushrooms, add in the spring onion, and then I add in some flour, just a tablespoon. This like thickens it up, makes it all nice. Then I'm adding in the stock that I made. And then the secret ingredient is Coleman's mustard. I always add double what the recipe calls for because I don't think it's enough. And then you add in some creme fraiche or I actually had some Greek yogurt, so that works as well. And then you let it simmer, add a little bit of thyme, add a little bit of nutmeg and it's literally that simple so you let that simmer and then like that's the inside of the pie so it's all hot it's all cooked and then all you have to do is pop the puff pastry on top so i'm going to make a little design on mine like a pie design <laughs> um, but you don't have to and then you just pop it straight on top and then i kind of like frill the edges of the pie so i'm just doing this with my fingers and then if there's ever any leftover pastry sometimes i'll write pie on the top this time i didn't have much so i just made a little star with a cookie cutter and i just stuck the star in the middle and then i'm just gonna make a little egg wash and um wipe that all over it this just makes it shiny makes the pastry a bit nicer you don't need it but i always tend to do it um, and that's it then you just pop it in the oven for like 10 to 15 minutes until the pastry is all cooked and that is the pie um, all done all golden and lovely so then all you have to do is cut it up and as i said i'm serving it with green beans and the roast potatoes and that is dinner tonight Okay, so it's now Jackson's bedtime. We are all cozy in here and we're gonna read this elemental book. And how adorable, we've got one lamp on that side, the little monkey lamp. And then on this side, Matt moved the bunk bed light and put it just here. So it's so handy to read with. Um, so yeah, we're gonna read a book and we're gonna get all cozy, aren't we? It's so nice and soft in here. Um, it's actually really, really lovely. I'd like to sleep in here, I think. You can't. Should I sleep over? You can't. No, no, I can't. So yeah, anyway, so I'll say goodnight, but I'm going to also vlog a bit tomorrow because it is a very big day tomorrow. I'm going to say goodnight. Goodbye. Goodbye. For everything they sacrificed to give her a better life. Fiery Ember loves to roar around Element City on her super speedy screen. Okay, so it's the next day now. I really wanted to vlog today as well because it's my book signing today. So I'll show you a little bit of that later on in the video. But first thing this morning, Matt decided to tackle our garden. We've not really done anything over the winter and there's some weeds coming up the stone and the patio really needs to be jet washed and he's going to cut the lawn for the first time he's also going to get rid of some of the leaves and just really tidy up this space it's funny how he always notices when the garden's getting really bad whereas i don't really notice um but it was getting to him and it was that kind of time of year obviously it's nearly spring i can't wait for it to actually get warmer um so he decided to sort it out today and this summer he's definitely gonna repaint the fences on the right hand side we love the black fences but the only thing is they definitely need repainting um, but yeah for today he's gonna move all the footballs move the football goals um, and then cut the lawn and everything else and just tidy it all up and then there's some very satisfying jet washing coming up today as well <laughs> Life is a winding road No telling where it goes Driving through days and nights Won't stop for traffic lights And I I really wanna know, really wanna know If I Will ever figure out where the road goes From falling down, I will keep on searching for my highs. You can say I lost my mind, I will keep on holding my head high. Even if the sky is falling down.
Jumping from cliffs so high Trusting our wings to fly Sometimes we're crashing down But we get up and start from the ground Keep on searching for my highs You can say I lost my mind I will keep on holding my head high Even if the sky is falling down So we're going to our local shopping center. It's called Lakeside because um, today is my book signing and we're doing a book signing at Waterstones. And I'm so excited to actually meet some of you guys. Like I've never ever done a meetup or anything like this. So I'm a little bit nervous, but we you had to actually book a ticket so that we would know people would be coming. <laughs> so I think like 50 to 70 tickets have gone. So there will be people there. So yeah, I'm really excited to meet some of my followers in person. So yeah, we'll try and get a few clips, but let's go. Monday and I'm just about coming down from the high of the book signing it was such a special day thank you so much to everyone that came it was amazing actually meeting so many of you in real life it was so cool and like some people have followed for so long or commented for so long I like recognized their names like knew them and it felt honestly like I was meeting so many long lost friends I just I loved every single one of them was just really really lovely and yeah I had the best day at the beginning I was really nervous like we we're waiting in the staff room and then the guy came in and he was like okay come in like there's a big queue out there and I was like what um, and then as we walked out I just felt really really sick and I was like shaking and the first lady in the queue she walked up to me she was like I'm shaking look and I was like I'm shaking. I was like, I feel like I'm gonna throw up. I was so nervous, um, but then everyone was so lovely. Like it actually made it so much easier. So I just signed all the books. It took about two hours in total. There was like 70 people and I just could not believe that so many of you guys came. So thank you so much. It was honestly incredible. I feel like you know the past 10 years of making content sort of led up to that moment and it was so nice to meet so many of you quite a few people were like i found you from your what's in your hospital bag like what's packing your hospital bag video and have followed since jackson was born like seven years ago and there were people that flew in from ireland that morning um two sets of families that drove in from wales people from the midlands people from lincoln like I couldn't believe that people came from so far. Um, so my manager was like, oh, maybe we should do one of these up north next time. But yeah, it was just incredible. Honestly, it meant the world to me and almost made it all feel real. Cause obviously for me, I'm normally just talking to my camera, but to actually meet so many mums and babies in real life and families. Like we met this one family, she was so funny. 
and she was called Juliet. She had four adorable kids. And she said when they're having a productive day at home, they say they're having a Norris day. And I was like, oh my gosh. I was like, I need to have some more like Norris days because sometimes I have off days as well. Um, but yeah, it was just amazing. And I had the best times. So yeah, thank you so much. Also, thank you so much to everyone who's been tagging me like having bought the book and everything it, honestly like it all doesn't feel real it's like it was the most surreal experience ever yeah but anyway thank you so much i hope you also enjoyed this video i'm now gonna go and tidy up some of my office um but yeah don't forget that, that discount code for emma sleep is in the description the link will be there and you can get five percent extra off the sale with my code emily norris um, but yeah thank you so much and i'll see you in my next one bye guys